He's telling me I need to show him my ID. And I told him, I'm not showing him my ID because I'm not doing anything wrong. They called you in as a suspicious person. Okay, that's fine. I've identified you as that person. Okay. Well, Tell then we can go Do you not there. understand what the Supreme Court ruling was? I haven't broken any law. I didn't say so. you did. Okay. Well, sure. I, see, you want to interrupt me because you think you've got power because you're law enforcement. I am beyond human, dude. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's video is brought to you courtesy of the channel, Rocky Chevalier Sr. Rocky recently featured a video in which he interviewed a U.S. Postal employee named Sean in Perry County, Ohio. Sean is well known and liked by his fellow employees, and on December 22nd of 2021, he arrived to work early, as he often does, to use the parking lot across the street to perform basic calisthenics before clocking in. The post office is located near the Perry County Sheriff's Office, and one of the alleged dispatchers called into the main office to report Sean's suspicious shadow boxing techniques. Are you coming, Sheriff Salt? Hey, it's me. Hey, do you have a deputy over there? Yeah. Uh, can you send him over here to our building? We got a uh, person in the parking lot, uh, box in midair. He's out here seriously tweaking. So they said to send somebody over. He's out in the parking lot. All right, Andy's on his way. All right, thank you. All right, goodbye. The call prompts Perry County Sheriff's Deputy Andy Love to respond to Sean's location. Just bouncing right here, and then he come across the street and started coming over. I assumed he was going to his vehicle or something, did not think he was coming to me. And as he got closer, I had my earbuds in, I took one out, I looked at him, smiled, said good morning and hello. And the first thing that he said to me was, what are you so happy about? Shortly into the encounter, Sean begins recording. He immediately asked me my name directly after he made that comment. And I did, I told him my first name and then he immediately said, Sean, what's your last name? Well, then I realized that this was not just a regular hello good morning and I told him I didn't understand that I didn't feel there was any reason for me to give him my last name because I hadn't done anything wrong or broken any laws or committed any crimes and he told me immediately yes there is a reason he said you've been called in as a suspicious person and as a suspicious person I have identified you as that person and uh, that I needed to give him my identification by the law Okay, here we go. Okay. He's gonna explain it to me. I'm, I'm jogging in the morning, bouncing around, doing the same thing I do every day. He's telling me I need to show him my ID because somebody thinks there's a crazy man because I'm right. jogging around. I explained to him, I work at the post office, and I uh, told him I'm not showing him my ID because I'm not doing anything wrong. Working at the post office. Okay, that's fine. Can you tell me your name? Yeah. What's your my name? My name is Sean. Sean, what's your last name, Sean? I haven't broken any law. I don't need to go Sean. there. Look, man. I'm just doing my job. Somebody uh, called me as a suspicious person. Okay, well, I'm okay now wait a minute. Let me explain the law. Okay, let's hear it. Somebody called you as a suspicious person. Okay, that's fine. I've identified you as that person. Okay. We are having a person, a we professional are, interaction. We're having a personal So now, when we have a professional interaction with a law enforcement officer, and he requests your identification. Okay. By law, okay. you are required to give me your identification. Okay, well, I haven't broken So I need to ask is your name. Okay, my name is Sean. And what is your last name, Sean? It's Sean. Sean what? Enough. If I've broken law or done anything, Sean, well, then we can go from there. Do you not there. understand what the Supreme Court ruling was? No, right? I you don't. Get, okay, I, I don't, get paid I don't, to understand case law. Okay. All right, you've been identified well, as a suspicious well, person. there's nothing suspicious about what I'm doing. Well, I'm jogging around. I haven't broken any law. I didn't say so, you did. Okay. So what's the problem? Deputy Love makes two claims here. Most importantly, is that he is admittedly not accusing Sean of a crime. I haven't broken any law. I didn't say so. you did. Okay. Most laughably is that he understands case law, as he infers that the Supreme Court has ruled that you must identify yourself at any time an officer makes contact with you. It's true that Sean had not committed a crime. As far as identifying, Section 2921.29 covers the failure to disclose personal information. It states that no person who is in a public place shall refuse to disclose the person's name, address, or date of birth when requested by a law enforcement officer who reasonably suspects that the person is committing, has committed, or is about to commit a criminal offense, or the person witnessed a felony. The irony is that this took place in Ohio, considering that Terry v. Ohio is likely what Deputy Love thinks he has an understanding of. He doesn't. 
and his years of experience misinterpreting case law is about to open himself, his department, and municipality to a federal lawsuit for violating the most basic of civil rights. Nothing's the problem. Okay. I'm jogging like I do every morning. Everybody in the post office knows what I do. Okay, so we didn't I mean, see you out here yesterday. Okay, well, that's fine. I come out here every morning, and I bounce around right here, and I look okay. at the courthouse and all kinds of different things. So, I mean, that's... So, are we just not going to give me your ID? No, I'm not going to give you my ID. I mean, there's no reason for me yes, to. Yes, there is. No, there's not. Because now... You're making it into a bigger thing than it has to be. Yeah, because I'm telling you where I work, what I do, and That's as fine. a law enforcement officer, so I'm have a little bit of name. common sense and just be like, okay. Don't talk to me about well, common well, sense. Well, we've talked now. Now I'm asking about your name. Well, we've talked now, Sean. and you understand. I'm telling you what Sean. I... See, you want to interrupt me because you think you've got power because you're law enforcement. So you want to tell me. I'm telling you. I'm not breaking the law. I understand you have a job. Okay. You've come here as a man. We've talked together, and right. I've told you what, I've, what I'm doing, okay? okay? There's no reason reason for me to like well, give you my this? name and all about, these things. Be a man. Direction. How about be a man, not law enforcement. Be a man. How about we go this direction? All right. So I'm going to give you my proper identification card. Okay, that's fine. All right. I, I understand. You're law so enforcement. I don't need to see yours. You, you come out of there. I know who you are. My name is Andy Love. Okay. There you go. That's for you. All right. I've introduced myself. Okay. Okay. And I've introduced Can you myself. Introduce my, can you introduce yourself? Yes, I am. My name is Sean. I and work right here at the post Sean. office. There's, there's no reason for me to give you Sean, this information. That's, it's that's, Christmas time, man. It I is Christmas time. It, I don't need this. Are okay, you are you so kidding me? I do this thing? every day. I do this every day. There's no reason for you to do this. is basically harassing me. No. Like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm a suspicious wrong. person. Okay. Well, we've had the talk. Like, no, you could come to me as a man it. and be like, okay, well, he's explained to me. Like, I understand. I can see okay. what he's doing. He's not doing well, anything. Like, have to do. I've made con You've made contact with me. And now I have to identify And I've explained to you what I'm doing now so I have, I have to identify you for what reason I'm jogging there's no reason for that if you want to identify me go in there and talk to my boss well, you're not get, talk to your boss. you're not getting any information from me okay let's go talk to your boss okay I didn't break any laws I'm not a criminal I'm on, only jogging I work directly across like diagonal from the sheriff's department told him where I work what I was doing and what I did every day and assumed that that would be good enough for him to realize what was going on there I had my postal pants on I mean it was clear to me and then he just kept on kept on pushing it so I told him if he wanted to identify me we could go over to the post office and he could speak to my boss there deputy love now escorts Sean to the post office it ain't gonna be that hard, man. Dude, this is the problem with with this country. And this is the problem with law enforcement. You take your job like, okay, I understand this is your job or whatever, but you're yeah, also... I've got a first name out of it. First name is Sean. At the end of the day... Apparently he wants me to go over here yeah. and talk to his boss. At the end of the day, off, you're still a family. human. You're still a human. So, I mean, this right here, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Sean, you don't know how human I really am, man. Yeah. I am beyond human, dude. Well... There's, there's a thing called personal communication. Well, let me ask and you something. What do you do for the post office? I deliver mail here. Okay. Every so single day. You go someplace. If you want. Let me ask you. I understand. If you have a package that has to be personally delivered to an individual, <laughs> would you, you hold that door for his Oh, sorry. Huh? I have no idea. Yep. Cheryl, boss, Sean, I got a police officer here that wants to know who I am because somebody called in a suspicious What's person for jogging, for and he wants my information, and I say no. There's no reason to have my information. I have not Sean. broken any laws. We can have a personal Sean, con. You're about to get yourself hemmed up. For what? For not what? identifying so yourself. Now you're threatening me? Right. This is the moment that Deputy Love's grave misunderstanding of case law caused him to believe that he had the authority to put his hands on a person that he had openly admitted had not committed a crime. Note that the chevrons on his sleeve typically indicate that one is in a supervising position. Sean's phone is given to his coworker, and shortly after, his boss confirms that he is an employee at the facility and corroborates his morning ritual of jogging and shadow boxing. She also provides the deputy with Sean's last name, none of which satisfies Deputy Love's ego. All you have to do is identify yourself, dude. That's all you gotta do. That's all you have to do. No problem. Hey, uh, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you guys for a minute? This is my boss. I'm, I'm his boss. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I ask her who I am? She, it's, she, his name's Sean. Make sure you got me. He jerked me up like that. I did not resist or nothing. Well, here's the problem. No problem with that. Let go 
going to the Space Force. I asked him to identify himself. Okay. He refused to identify himself. Because I'm no law. I'm broken no law. By so, law, okay. he just did. Just so we'll go over here. Can we just talk about this for a minute? Yeah. That's what I tried to do. Okay. How he has to talk about it. Okay, Sean. Not his mother. No, no, but he I'm He has to talk about right. it. Right, but I, I mean, I'm just saying I'm his boss. I understand. So, I mean, Sean. There's no reason for this. No, you have to identify. There's no it. reason for For what? I haven't broken any no, laws know, to do you, that. But still. You told him who I am. Now he's just using his power. He knows my last name. So he wants to use his Sean, power and enforce it on me. Like, oh, well, you need to say who you are or I'm going to jerk you around like he just did. This is America. That is fun call for. Just I'm, I'm relaxed, Cheryl. I'm relaxed. This guy is not relaxed. If you didn't see him just jerk me up in there and turn me around. I told him where I work, what I'm doing, and everything. And he wouldn't give you a name. So come on, Sean. Look at him jerking me with these Sean, handcuffs. If you want, uh, Sean, just contact me. This is, do what? Call me if you need me. Deputy Love escorts Sean to the sheriff's office. On the way to the sheriff's department, across the parking lot, I was in handcuffs and I said to the officer, there was another officer in the parking lot, a heavier set guy. Uh, he says to me, um, I said, this is America. I said, this is a problem with law enforcement. Why you have a lack of respect is because you abuse your authority and power. And he looked right at me and he said, if you don't like America, you can go back to Afghanistan. And at that point, I just, I had no idea where that come from. I assume he thought I was Middle Eastern or something. But then we walked inside and as we were walking inside, I told the sheriff that like, detained me that there was no reason for him to be that rough and he told he kind of chuckled a little bit and said oh i can get a lot rougher once inside sean was told he would be free to go once he identified so you were forced to give your identity before you were released from the deputy's office is that yes, correct yes that's correct he took me inside took me to where where i believe they do the holding part there's chairs with handcuffs on them and stuff and my hands were behind my back and I asked I said could I please have these placed in front of me because it was very uncomfortable he had them on tight and had already jerked me around with the handcuffs on he said no he said we'll get to that he said as soon as you just tell me your name he said we can take them off of you and you can be on your way and at that point I was like this is ridiculous so I just told him I said okay my name's Sean and told him my last name and he asked for my address and I give my address he uncuffed me and then he said I'll walk you back over walked me back over to the post office into uh, my boss's office the postmaster and started having conversation there and I told him that I felt that that was totally unnecessary what he did to me in front of all my co-workers and uncalled for and he said well haven't you ever heard the term of going postal Sean Sean alleges that the deputy told other postal employees employees that he didn't suspect Sean of anything. He stated to my boss that he, as he made contact with me, that he could tell that I wasn't under the influence of things, that I was not tweaking supposedly as whatever I was called in for. And my boss was confused about, okay, well, if he thought that, then why would he take the steps that he did? Sean is currently working with an attorney to pursue civil action against Deputy Love. His lawyer is also leading another civil rights lawsuit against the deputy for a separate incident. Do you believe you were identified um, inappropriately by the deputy? I understand that's his job to make contact with whatever somebody calls in that they have a concern about. But once he engaged in conversation with me, to me, I believe that through proper training and common sense that he would be able to tell that I was not under the influence of any drug of any kind and that I was not tweaking as what was called in. Encounters like this are becoming less and less surprising with the many incidents and lawsuits we cover each day. A big thanks to Sean for standing up for himself and for the Rocky Chevalier Senior Channel for making me aware of this encounter. His full interview with Sean and other incidents involving Deputy Love can be found on his page linked below. Be sure to let him know that I sent you if you pay him a visit. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can 
also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.